This is it. This is the Star Wars graded figures right here. It's vintage edition. Uh, we're excited about this. These are still in the cardboard packaging, the original cardboard packaging that came in. We have not had a product like this here at Friendly Box Breaks uh, with the Star Wars graded figures still in the cardboard packaging. Well, of course, we have had some great action figures graded uh, in some, some, of the, some of the other products that we have, but this one is a little different. And so we're excited about it. Let's go ahead and and in our box break right now, this little ID code makes it easy to see on YouTube. You can find the video and watch this again and again. Um, let's get to the random. We've got two lists we're going to randomize to determine who's going to own which checklist player. We're going to randomize the first list seven times. We're going to randomize the second list seven times. And we're going to stack both of those lists up side by side. That's how you get your checklist player. Good luck. And lucky number seven, the first list is complete and randomized. And now for our checklist character random. Seven times through. What's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Coming out in our break. Good luck, everybody, getting some of the most highly valued figures. Here we go. Six. Lucky number seven. Uh, all right. There's lucky number seven. And here's that randomized list getting stacked up next to our owners. So, Mr. Detroit, uh, Mr. Anunnaki, you've got OB-1. And uh, that, that's got to be good there. Yoda is certainly one of the bigger names. I feel like maybe the bigger names are the best to own, but it, that might not be true because some of the less lesser-known guys could be more rare uh, in the whole big picture of it all. So uh, we're going to find out because these, we're going to find out uh, what's rare and what has the most value as we take a look at what, what our figure is. We're, we're going to do some analysis about what actually we're getting out of here. I'm very curious to kind of analyze some of the type of hits that we get out of here. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead. Let's get to the break. And uh, see what we can get. Uh, I want everyone here to hit some kind of a big item. And it is time to do that. It's time. And this is Hobby Solutions. So we've had some different Hobby Solutions products around here. Let me see. Haven't done one of these type of boxes. Okay. Open sesame. <laughs> yeah. Open sesame. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. What is it going to be? Who's it going to be coming out of the break? What is this thing? Oh, you can see the packaging is right here. And this is a character named Weequay from Star Wars. Is he on the checklist? Do we have a winner? Or is it going to rain? I see the I see the winner right here in spot number twenty three. The winner is in spot twenty three of Weekway. So a big congratulations going to to Arturo. Now let's see what we have here. What is this all about? 
still in the packaging. And you've actually got an 85.4 week way from 19, what is that, 83 Kenner. So this is this comes in a like a, a plexiglass container. Uh, it's wrapped with an outer coating of plastic to kind of keep the glass from having fingerprints on it. This one has the original price tag. And this week way. I want to I was looking on eBay. And some of the possibilities earlier, I think I stumbled on a weak way. Let's see what I can find out about this. 1983 Kenner. And the grading is CAS. Let me see here. Okay, Sooner C says, yeah, one sold for 170. This actually has a special certificate on the back of it. And it's CAS. I thought this would be really easy to find the value out. I don't see it. You can see the condition. This is very interesting. Very interesting item. And uh, it looks like it has a special back. This is, it has R, ROT365 back, which probably is pretty significant when determining the value.
So anyway, pretty neat. Good stuff happening, man. Congratulations, Mr. Arturo. Way to go. Uh, hitting the weak way out of our Star Wars action figure break. Nice hit. Rated action figure still in the cardboard. Looks like the hole has not even been punched out of that to, for it to actually be on the shelf. And that is right in the package, original package. Very, very cool item to get out of the break. Congratulations again. We're looking forward to.